So a couple of months ago, F123 posted a challenge to the game where you, the player, could attempt to beat the lap time of I am stupid Charles Leclerc at Monza. Now a couple of months ago I did not have this game so I could not attempt to beat it. But now I do. And so I tried. But before I tried to beat his time I wanted to see if there was any video proof of him actually doing this lap. And lo and behold there it was on the EA Sports F1 YouTube channel was him doing his lap. But while watching his lap, to summarize it for you, he looked a bit uninterested in his lap. He looked a bit relaxed and laid back, so I knew he wasn't going a full 100%. But even though he wasn't going a full 100%, he was still able to put in a time of a 120.1, which is still incredibly quick. Knowing he could go faster at any point, is a tad bit scary but it was a nice challenge for us gamers to see how we square up against a formula one driver at half pace so starting my first lap of the challenge it was basically a complete write-off it was against the bronze ai so i used it as a warm-up lap to get used to the car and the track but coming across the line now, I wanted to see how far away I was from Charlotte Claire. And I was just under two seconds, which means there's a lot of room for improvement and a lot of places to gain some time. This bus stop chicane especially I needed to get that better because Charles Leclerc was absolutely incredibly fast out of that corner. Coming to the second chicane now, I didn't want to take as much curb and cut it and invalidate my time, but I overshot it instead and invalidated the lap anyway. So starting my fifth lap after invalidating my fourth. I was coming towards the bus stop chicane where I knew I could gain a lot of time if I just got it a bit right. And I went a bit too deep and lost a couple of hundreds in the process and I was down just over two tenths going into the second chicane. I didn't want to do the same thing I did the previous lap but I took too much curb and lost a bit of time in the process. Coming into Lesmo's, the first Lesmo corner, I was a bit slow and he was incredibly quick, but I knew I could gain some time on Lesmo too, but somehow not invalidating my lap, even though I exceeded track limits and went onto the gravel. But this time going into Ascari, I'm six tenths behind and the lap is about over and I invalidate the lap anyway. Starting my sixth lap of the challenge, I wanted to use the invalidated laps as an indicator of where I could improve and where I could do better and note out what mistakes Charles Leclerc had made and where I could better him in different corners. I knew I could gain some time in this second chicane but I took too much curb again and I lost a couple of hundreds. I'm three tenths down going into Lesmo 1 and 4 tenths going into Lesmo 2. Coming to Ascari now, I had noted he had made a big mistake here and lost a lot of time, but I would went a bit too deep there as well, but I'm still gaining on him by a couple of a hundreds. Into Parabolica one of his strongest corners and one of my weakest but I'd seem to do a bit well there and finally after a couple of laps six laps I'd bettered my time and I was only two tenths away from Charles Leclerc Coming into the second chicane again, I knew that I couldn't cut it, I couldn't take too much curb, but I invalidated the lap. Too scared of hitting the curb, I invalidated it, but still using the lap 
as an indicator of where I could do better and maybe get the hang of that first Lesmo corner. A purple second sector indicating that I could definitely go a lot quicker. Into the second chicane again, I take a bit too much curb and that sets me up horribly for the second corner and I cut it. But still using the track to see where he made the mistake in Ascari. I hear, might have cut that first corner into Ascari, but I am a couple hundreds in front of Charles going into Parabolica. But on lap 9, I tried my hardest to do better at Parabolica and somehow, someway, I got a better exit than my personal best and I just gone even quicker. Not that much quicker, a couple hundreds, still two tenths behind, but that showed a purple second sector a couple laps ago and a purple third sector now, showing that I can go faster on lap 10. Going into the second chicane, I know that I'd been taking too much curb. I needed to stay a bit more focused and a bit wider, but I take it too much anyway onto the gravel and I am a couple of tenths behind already. Into Lesmo 1, I am just under four tenths behind. I knew I could gain a lot of time with Ascari if I just get this a bit better than I did the previous lap. I'd be in front of Charles by the end of it. And I was. I was a couple of a hundreds in front of Charles, going into Parabolica, one of my weakest, one of his strongest. I just had to get it okay. And okay is what I got. I improved on Parabolica and I come across the line now to beat Charles Leclerc's time by just over a tenth. Now obviously if Charles Leclerc put 1% more effort into his lap, he would absolutely obliterate my time. But that was the lap we got and that was the lap I beat and this is the happiness it caused. heart was fucking pounding through that whole thing. Jesus. Oh my fucking word. Now after all the smiles and all the happiness, I wanted to watch my lap that had beaten Charles Leclerc's one more time. But instead, coming out of that lap again, I felt a sense of uncertainty. That it wasn't clean enough. That it wasn't fast enough. And so, I set myself another challenge but this time not to beat Charles Leclerc but to beat myself lap one was a complete write-off it was a horrible lap from me a 120.4 into the bus stop chicane I take the first corner a bit too wide and I lose a couple of seconds. I get a decent exit, but I'm still one and a half tenths going into the second chicane. I cut the first corner a bit too much, but keep on the accelerator and gain a lot of time. This telemetry is against me now and not Charles Leclerc, so I know where I can gain a lot of time. Lap three, here, yeah, gaining a lot of time in the second chicane. Going into Lesmo, but Lesmo being a weak part of my track and losing a couple of a hundreds in the process. Going into Ascari, I wanted to see where I could do better, but I couldn't. I invalidated my lap and that ruled off lap number three. But starting lap number four, five thousandths of a second down already, going into the bus stop chicane, I knew I had to do better than my bus stop chicane 
in the previous personal best. But I was only a couple of a hundreds away from the personal best going in to the second chicane where I knew I could improve. And improve I did. I may have cut the corners a bit too much. I could have gained a bit more time. But going in two and a half tenths into Lesmo 1, losing a bit of time, but going into Lesmo 2 and basically doing it identical to my personal best. Into Ascari now, I just had to get it okay, not lose enough time. I break too early and it loses me a couple of tenths, almost a full on tenth and a half and I am a couple of a hundreds in front of my personal best. I just had to do better at Parabolica. And I did. Carried good speed throughout the corner. I carried a good exit and I came across the line to beat my personal best by just over a tenth. Which now puts us two tenths in front of Charles Leclerc. As I said, if Charles Leclerc put even 1% more effort into his lap, he would be untouchable. But it was a nice challenge to see how we gamers squared up against a incredibly quick F1 driver, one of the best out there. But that was the lap he had put out, and that was the lap I beat. And I knew that when I went to sleep at night, and I jumped in my bed, and I closed my eyes, I knew I had beaten Charles Leclerc.